Hey everyone, this is Aaron. This week we're going to be looking at a, a quick tip related to simulation. So this is a pretty classical representation of uh, what we refer to as a singularity. If we take a look at the convergence plot, this is a telltale sign that you have a singularity. The stress just continues to rise as you refine the mesh. An easy way to deal with this in some cases is to just add a fillet. This is going to change the singularity to now what's called a stress concentration. And if we take a look at that convergence graph once again, you're going to see that it does eventually top out. And that's what you should take as your final value for the stress in that case. Now, real world situations, like we're looking at a fork from a dirt bike here, you can't always just add a fillet to deal with it, right? So sometimes you need to just learn how to interpret the data and sort through and figure out, you know, what values are, are applicable and which ones are caused by this phenomenon. Change now to the convergence plot, you're going to see how this continues to rise up and up. Uh, if we take a look at the stress plot, the same coloration is all throughout this assembly. So it's telling me, you know, there's a very high stress value somewhere. If we use the scaling here to sort through, you'll see this area where this very high stress is. So how do we deal with this in this case? Well, you can actually learn to ignore those areas where these high stress values are just off the charts. Uh, the elements one or two away from that location should be accurate to the stress values for this assembly. So no, you don't have to go and add fillets every time you have a, a singularity. It is something that is unavoidable in some cases, and uh, you know this is just one way of dealing with it. So hope you enjoyed this. Have a great week. See ya.